Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we are going to conduct lecture number 23 and today's topic is duty cycle generation in PKD in a microcontroller. So let's see what is duty cycle and how we can generate a specific fre frequency or specific wave with the specified duty cycle. Okay, this is the question. Uh, this is the program of that this question. Let's see what we have written here line by line. So very first line is originate two way. So that is just uh, declaring the st start of the program in the program memory. Then we write BCF C comma C. BCF is the bit manipulation instruction we have learned in the last lecture. BCF, what it will do, it will clear the file register and a specific bit. So what file register? Press C and it's zeroth pin. That means uh, zeroth pin of port C would become output because we are providing press C zero, right? Then what we do, bit toggle. This is a new instruction that we study, bit toggle. Bit toggle means we are going to, uh, if it is zero, we have to make it one. And if it is one, then we have to make it zero. So this is the function of toggle. And we, what we are toggling, we are toggling uh, the port C and zero pin, which is the output pin. So if it was zero, let's say it was zero in, in the start. So it would become equal to one, right? So it's a zero level and it's a one level, right? And then we are calling a delay. Delay is certain subroutine that we can see. So I'm not writing a delay uh, specifically, but I'm just mentioning there would be a delay uh, subroutine. And what that subroutine is producing, it's producing certain amount of delays. And so, so I hope you uh, know the code of delay generation so you can use that code here. And then we come back to the code and then we branch again and we go back to the again and then we toggle it again. So after certain delay, this logic will become again zero level and then it will become one. So this is how we are generating a square wave, right? So now let's come to the topic uh, which, uh, we, which we are going to discuss in this course. What is the duty cycle of this square wave? Since it is a square wave, so it will be on and off for equal amount of time. If it is one second, so it would also be one second. If it is two second, it would also be two second. This is called 50% duty, uh, duty cycle. What is a duty cycle? Duty cycle uh, refers to the amount, the ratio of times and what, on time, right? What is the on time and the total time? Total time would be equal to on time plus off time. So this is called duty cycle, right? I hope you understand what is duty cycle. Duty cycle is a ratio of time duration for which it is on and the total cycle duration. So in this case, it is 50% because if it is one, so it would be one over two. So it's a 50%. If it is two, so it would be two over four. It's again 50%. So this square wave, whenever we are going to generate a square wave, it will have a duty cycle of 50%. So I hope you have understand the logic. Uh, let's consider another example. Okay, in this example, what we are asked to do, generate a wave with a duty cycle of 40% at RC0. So remember we discussed a 50% duty cycle wave, which is a square wave generally. So now we are asked to design a wave or generate a wave uh, at the same pin of pig 18 f 452 and we will be generating it with a duty cycle of 40%. So 40% means it will be 40% on and 40% off. So what we can do, for example, uh, we can call a delay. Then we can call a delay. So it will be equal to uh, two times, right? So we know that uh, if we want, if it is on time, so we can make off time using uh, these delay, you know, uh, three times, right? So for example, this one. So now you see this is one and one, so two, and this is one, one and one, so it's a three, right? So two out of three would become what? Uh, it would become 40%, right? So this is how you can, uh, you can also generate various delays or various duty cycles uh, in a wave. So this, time what we are going to call we are going to call delay one and then delay one and then delay one then delay one and then delay one right so two times we are calling this delay in on duration 
and then three time we are calling this delay in of duration so we will have a duty cycle of 40 percent let's write the code for this specific example okay i have written the code in fact modified the previous code so vcf chris c comma zero that means we are again making this rc zero pin as output pin that is why we are clearing the chris c corresponding bit then what we do bsf bsf means we set the port c at this pin so we make it equal to one so uh, that at rc zero the logic level would become equal to one then we call delay right d1 is this time a subroutine which is written for uh, uh, some certain delay so we have we have call a delay d1 and then again we call delay d1 so it will be called twice right and then what we do we clear the port c comma zero that means this is logic level will falls to zero level and then it we call delay three times right okay there is a mistake let me correct it okay so we call a delay after after filing this level right so it will be d1 again d1 and again d1 as we explained earlier so we call it three times right call d1 call d1 call d1 it was c1 mistakenly written so i corrected it so, well uh, and then we branch it again to start another next cycle so in this way we generate a, a wave you can say it's a rectangular wave with a duty cycle of 40 percent okay one thing which can be understood from this we can also calculate their frequency and uh, time period time period is the total time for uh, for total time for the total cycle so time period would be equal to five times d1 here because you know that d1 is repeated around five times in this so let's say d1 is around one millisecond so if let's say if d1 is equal to one millisecond so what would be uh, one millisecond right so what would be time period then time period would become equal to five times d1 that means five millisecond and if we know the time period of this uh, wave then we can easily calculate the frequency so frequency of this wave would become one over time period which is one over five millisecond so if you calculate it it would become equals to what so it becomes equal to 200 200 hertz right so that's how you can calculate the uh, frequency of this wave right uh, since we know we can calculate uh, the frequency uh, of this wave using the duty cycle or if we are known with the duty cycle so we can also reverse the procedure if you are known if you are asked to generate the frequency uh, generate a wave with a certain frequency let's say we are asked to calculate uh, uh, calculate a square wave with a or rectangular wave with a frequency of uh, let's say two hertz so what you have to do you have to convert that frequency into time period and time period would be equal to one upon two right so that become 0.5 second right and in that 0.5 second you need to know the specific duty cycle of that that wave so you can easily generate that specific wave right that's it from this lecture if you have any confusions or comments please post in comment section thank you so much for listening